wouldn't it be nice if we could have some sort of procedurally generated city where we could go on a plenty of adventures and not just lurk underneath some dale or a mountain in dungeons lying beneath it, but also explore a life thriving world on top of it. Well, guess what? I already covered this little project by Marian42, but a couple months later it got updated and now we have Y function collapse 3D with this kind of glorious arches and actual interiors. So Marian42 initially created this project for a Protsgem event and in that contest it was pretty interesting and I'm glad that it was not only limited to the contest but Marian actually continued to update it and now we have interiors and arches and with the interiors we actually also have occlusion cooling cause uh, occlusion cooling is very important it makes possible for you to save some resources because obviously you can just generate all area around you and uh, also display it all around you regardless at which direction you are actually looking but since you now have a lot of interiors which you can't really see at any point if you are located outside of them especially on top of them or maybe you're just looking in the other direction and you can't see the insides of this particular room for example that means that you can just stop rendering it and save a lot of resources by doing that. Since now a lot of these blocks underneath the city or inside the city actually have these interiors, yes, they are empty, but they are different kind of empty and can be filled with things. So where we had void, now there is some life and volume to it and uh, the whole city got more alive, more sophisticated and uh, it's making more sense and I'm glad that it is a possibility. Now if you haven't seen it before, it's not really random, so it's not just a bunch of slapped uh, blocks together, but uh, they follow the rules, how often you could generate one block or another, which blocks can intersect or combine with other blocks, so it wouldn't be a mess and uh, your bridge wouldn't just end with a flat wall right after it and you could also have your flyover mode which can be activated by pressing M on keyboard. Then you can press it again to return to the usual mode and enjoy it on the ground and over the ground. As you can see from this perspective it is only more glorious and of course I'm interested in updates of this world. If they will follow, then I will post follow-up videos. And uh, I'm glad to see and to hear that since then, since I've made my little video, a lot of people covered this project. Even some major or major-ish gaming media on the web covered it as well. So I'm glad that uh, Marian got uh, well-deserved attention to the project. I will link Marian's Twitter profile in the description of this video. I will also link the source code on the GitHub page and the binary build on each IO platform, so you could uh, check it out yourself. This was Last of Worry. If you have some thoughts or your opinion on this video and on this wave function collapse project, feel free to share it in the comment section down below. If you like the video, you know what to do. Sharing it on the social media always helps. Thank you for watching and I will see you most certainly later.